Hello everyone in this video. Let us uh, use a script runner to divide two numbers. And uh, this is uh, something that uh, is really useful when you are uh, trying to do something uh, with a script runner to calculate uh, values. Maybe you want to uh, do some big calculations. It could be as simple as doing a simple division or multiplication. But why I'm talking about uh, dividing two numbers well there was a question on the community recently about uh, using script runner to divide uh, two numbers and not just uh, any two numbers basically using script runner or uh, using jira of course uh, you can uh, do a lot of wonderful things uh, like uh, you can somehow implement uh, safe maybe so when you uh, are working with uh, let us say scale agile framework you may want to do few things like you want to calculate maybe weighted shortest job first which is nothing but a very simple formula and that formula is this uh, of this division called WSJF which is nothing but the cost of delay divided by job size or job duration. Now I actually wrote a very simple piece of code that you can use to, of course, uh, uh, you know, do the same thing in your instance of Jira. But of course, you can uh, use it for some other things. Maybe you you have some complex uh, calculations that you want to do. But uh, dividing two numbers is, of course, nothing great. But you should know how to handle the data types, and you should know how to do it basically, at least in the console. Because uh, if you look at this issue here. It is nothing but a simple bug. It could be a story, it could be an issue type, but I have these two fields called cost of delay and I have one more field called job size. So my cost of delay is 20 and my job size is 5. And of course, if you want to know more about uh, how these things work, maybe you want to learn safe or you may want to uh, do the same thing in your organization. Of course, you need help when it comes to implementing a scale agile framework it is not exactly just uh, calculating this uh, wsjf it is uh, of course uh, uh, a lot more but this is of course one aspect of uh, of uh, implementing safe where you need to calculate uh, something like uh, wsjf now you can of course read this page here and you can understand more about uh, uh, you know how these things are calculated and more Importantly, what is the meaning of cost of delay? What is the meaning of uh, job size, job duration, and uh, why this uh, formula, this ratio, WSJF, is useful in uh, basically scheduling your work? So let us not uh, go too much into safe. Let us focus on our script and our script. Now, if I show you the script here, this script is uh, something that I have used uh, quite a lot in the past. And I always use the script runners console to write my script. You can, of course, you, you do the same thing with, of course, uh, maybe some test issue where you have, uh, let us say, these two fields uh, present with some value. And then you can fetch the details or fetch the value of your uh, custom field number one, which is, uh, in this case, my cost of delay. And of course, you can refer to this code to do the same thing for any custom field. Right now, I'm using uh, this uh, method called guest, get custom field objects by name. And I'm using my cost of delay, which is my custom field name, uh, which is always good. If you're, if you're writing scripts, uh, you should try to use the names because uh, when you copy the same script, maybe to your different instance of Jira, maybe you're writing some script on staging or maybe development environment. When you move it to a different environment and if your custom field name is same the script will not need any modification so i'm simply fetching the values of my cost of delay and my cost and my job size and i'm doing a simple division here so doing of course uh, this division is uh, very straightforward but you need to make sure that first of all the values that you have in your uh, in your fields they are not really empty. If the field values are empty, you can uh, return something like invalid uh, or cannot be null, some message. 
and uh, if uh, your issue doesn't exist then also you should handle these uh, these exceptions so let us say if i type something like uh, 48 or maybe 248 i know for sure that i don't really have this issue in my jira instance and and if i run this code i can see here that there is a message called issue doesn't exist which i am actually uh, handling here in my in my piece of code so if you're using the same script let us say in your scripted field where you want to display some kind of this wsjf calculation on the issue view screen and if you have let us say your cost of delay which is maybe null or maybe the field value is empty and uh, this is something that can happen but uh, in those cases when you have let us say your cost of delay or your job size or if there is no value in the custom field then you may want to handle the uh, exceptions you you want to basically handle these situations in your code so if i now run the same piece of code for maybe the same issue which is my android-47 so right now i am handling the uh, exceptions so idly uh, there shouldn't be any error so because i am actually returning the uh, the, the, the string here that says invalid, invalid or cannot be null. If I don't do this uh, and if I try to do a division based on let us say one value which is uh, zero, you will definitely get an error. So this is a simple uh, advice that whenever you're trying to do some calculations or if you're working with uh, scripts using a script runner for Jira and you're trying to do something with let us say custom field or maybe issues, you should always check whether the value exists and if you're trying to do something with those values and if the value is not there at all or it is null you will get uh, some kind of a null pointer exception so this piece of code is of course doing a simple calculation but uh, the but the whole idea here is to make sure that you are handling the exceptions and uh, i'm doing a division here but uh, i'm also uh, taking care of the data type because uh, I have this number custom field. I mean, when you create a custom field, I'm using a number, but I'm making sure that I'm uh, casting it as a double so that uh, um, there is some consistency when I'm doing a division. So you can do the same thing. You can uh, take a look at this piece of code and you can, uh, of course, uh, use the same piece of code if you want to uh, do a simple division. And uh, this is all I have wanted to share in this video. And the whole idea here is to, of course, also touch upon the aspect of uh, using Jira for, uh, for implementing SAFE in your organization. Of course, uh, we have uh, other tools like Jira Align that, of course, is, uh, is something that uh, you can use for implementing SAFE. Of course, uh, it depends what kind of uh, model you want to implement. Maybe you want to have the full implementation of SAFE or maybe just uh, the, uh, you, know, you know, maybe not really the whole configuration, but uh, uh, you may want to have a lean configuration. But the whole point here is that you can do wonderful things with Jira. And uh, when you have script runner installed, you can do uh, almost... Uh, anything with your Jira instance uh, if you know how to write uh, scripts using Groovy. And uh, this is uh, something that I wanted to share very quickly in this video and I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.